All right, we're back in some grand piece. I'm gonna get a code really quick in a private server because they've been updating the game crazy with a bunch of dove fruit node fires, updating that, and then fixing the marine ship spawns and whatnot. Because I've recorded like probably like two times trying to show you guys how to get a dove fruit without waiting, which is the method of attacking marine ship or power ship depending what team you're on. But they've been fixing that because they bugged it out when they first tried to fix it. Um, I mean, I didn't see anything wrong. I think they just like nerfed it and then they like bugged it after while they tried to nerf it. So they fixed it now and they changed it to 4% drop, a 4% drop instead of a 1% drop for smaller marine ships or pirate ships depending on your team again. So that's the video showing you guys how to get a dough fruit without waiting like one to four hours because they also have changed that instead of two to four hours it's now one to four hours and can spawn any time throughout that time period but i'm just going to describe how to be attacked by marines really if you see my bounty it is 693 you need 500 bounty to get attacked that's what people are saying so i'll just say that i guess because I mean, I got 500 bounty and then I started getting attacked and you just need a boat. I don't, I'm not too sure if a dinghy works. I would not recommend fighting marines or pirates, uh, NPC ships with a dinghy. <laughs> I would at least recommend the medium sized boat or the galleon. I would recommend the galleon. The more HP, the better. After you got all that stuff, you just want to go out into the ocean and just like chill really. You don't have to, you don't have to really move and you don't got to be on the steering wheel. You could just chill on your boat and wait just like this. It takes a bit, I guess, before it took maybe, it, no, it was instant. Like you have to be away from islands, by the way. Once you got away from an island, it would instantly spawn and it'll say like Marine is attacking you, but they, they changed it and I'm guessing they changed it to make it like it's four times longer. Like that's an estimate right there. That's an estimate just cause if they're saying they increased it to 4%, I would think they would have increased the time for the Marine to actually attack you by four, four times because you know, just math, all right. And then there are two types of Marine ships that could attack you. You got the little boats, these these boys right here, uh, this guy, the Caravel boats um which that will be the ones that actually attack you uh most commonly and then the galleon ones there are marine galleons i have not encountered one and then with galleons you get a greater chance of getting a dove fruit it was two percent back then when the caravels were one percent so i'm guessing they doubled it to eight percent for galleons which is a pretty high percentage actually Oh, oh look a marine actually it's all right we this is my first time ever getting it on camp uh, on, on recording all right so what I like to do is rotate the ship so it hits the ship on a flat part and the reason being is so that it doesn't slide down my ship and cause a mess it's hard see okay there we go this stuff uh, I like to I like to defeat the cannoneers first because they're the ones that deal the damage and then kill the captain after. Some people like to kill the captain first because it stops moving the boat. But I mean, <laughs> my ship does that job. So yeah, there we go. I just defeated it. Uh, did a quite bit of damage. Uh, so you just repair that just like that. And that is also something you should get. Repairing your ship, a uh, hammer and a wooden, wooden planks. And you get wooden planks for killing marine like people either the cannoneers or the captain and the captain is the one that drops the the uh the the dove fruit so kill those and i believe everybody gets a chance because like with boss drops everybody that does like 10 percent damage can get the chance of getting the boss drop so i'm thinking that's what it is with the dove fruit as well so more people in your party be kind of better just the only reason why I say kinda is because the captain doesn't have that much health. It's not like a boss, so when you have like maybe six people, it's kind of hard to split up 
10% between all of you guys while you guys are just trying to kill the captain and the boat at the fastest you can. And the double fruit uh, chance of getting a Logia or Paramecium from Marines is the exact same how you can encounter them in the uh, wild. Why did I say wild? I mean like how it takes the chance it'll take to find under tree. So if they made a Logia, if a Dove respawned and they made the Logia chance a uh, like 10% chance, it'll be the same for the Marines. If I kill the Marine and I get that 4% chance of it giving it to me, it'll be a 10% chance of being a Logia and it'll be like 90% being a Paramecium. And then of course, depending uh, what Dove fruit it is, what the i didn't get a notification for a pirate ship to attack me so what the f okay now they're doing some fat damage holy crap bro. okay this is what holy crap this is what they do i did not know that they rotated around the boat and just oh that's actually very annoying there we go yeah yeah one store style is very good for this actually. Alright. Actually really annoying. They did so much damage. And I don't get why power strips attack, because they're saying that it depends on your team. And as you can see I'm a pirate. If you were a marine, then it would send pirate ships after it it would notify them too and everything but i mean i guess pirates versus pirates isn't such a bad thing it's just it doesn't give you the notifications so it's like really it just catches you off guard kind of thing so let's try to get one more marine also i forgot to say that you get bounty killing the npcs on the boats and then also with the boats just laying there okay despawn but with the boats just laying there, you don't gotta destroy it. You can if you want, but I don't think it does anything when you destroy it. That's I've destroyed it before. It's just done nothing. So that is why I'm telling you guys to make the boat hit the flat part of the side, like the side of the boat. Cause like you saw, that was the first time me actually encountering it. It just rotated or it like it, uh, it went around around my boat shooting cannons, and you don't want your ship to be damaged that much because you just it'll require more logs to repair so that's why you want to hit make them hit the flat part so they just hit these hit this and like don't move that way or that way they just hit head on and go forward so they don't slide like what i was doing like that because if they slide off and like that they could get back into that uh little rotation I just thought of this, if you have more than one friend that has 500 bounty plus and you guys spawn your boats near each other, like say if my friend Ronaldo here spawned his boat right next to me and he had 500 bounty, both of us would have marines coming after us, right? So it would be double the marines coming at us, meaning that we could work together to defeat the marines coming after us and have a higher rate of marines coming at us you know that's just something i thought about i don't know something i thought about oh here comes one it's a pirate one unfortunately back up just like that let them hit the side of it that see see how it lifts up and they stop it we're the marines though and i don't know if i mentioned this in the video but in the trello i'll put a little screenshot of the trello it shows that the more bounty you have well it doesn't say the more bounty but it's basically saying that the spawn chance of marines depends on your bounty 
So the higher the bounty, the higher the chance, the lower your bounty, the lower the chance of the spawning. So meaning that, right, meaning that it's really not, it's, it's time based to a point, but it's also based off of your bounty. So like, let's just say maybe every two minutes, it'll like check your bounty and see, all right, well, your chance of spawning is based off your bounty. All right, goes through that chance. If it hits that chance, if it like, is that all right, will spawn, then it'll spawn. But if your chance is low and it says, all right, you didn't get it, then it won't spawn. And then you have to wait, like, I don't know, another checkpoint, two minutes, something like that. That's what I'm thinking. But you know, that's, that's only what I'm thinking. And they just said, right when I was explaining that chance thing, they said at least 100 bounty to have a chance of spawning NPC ships. So, you really just need only 100, but 500 is a good mark because I guess if it's higher the bounty, it's higher the chance. So, I'm at 700 and there ain't nothing spawning. I mean, that isn't that high, but still though. All right, so I didn't find a marine ship at all. It took me, it was, I was recording for like 20 minutes waiting for a ship. And then uh, we we're like, all right, let's go grind some bounty, get our chance up more. So if you guys did learn something new, drop a like, subscribe, you are not already, we're so close. We're like 500 away from 20K, 500. And yo, you guys are going crazy. I appreciate you guys. I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.